Hi everyone. Well, I'm back out. Uh, I've actually had a chance to come up to Lockdown uh, for three, four hours, and uh, it doesn't look very promising. <laughs> but anyway, I don't want to put dampers on it already. But it's a totally different day from where I came from. I'm only 15 miles from Lockdown. Uh, we asked sea level to go on with you, and up here we're 800 feet. I think it's 800 feet above sea level anyway. It's at least that, I would think. Uh, totally different day. It's, uh, I think it's 14 and a half degrees. So, it's, <laughs> I think it was about 19 or 20 or something there. Where, um, where I came from, so anyway, I've got my I brought my 10 foot five weight. I haven't set it up yet, but I'm going to put on two or three flies. Just I'll see what's what. The wind's blowing down in the lock, so I'm going to go out to the this point and fish along the and use the wind as uh, an aid really to get my line to turn over. So I can get a decent cast if I want. Less, less chance of getting a, into a fankle. As you can see, I'll stop for a second, you can see the... We've got a kind of misty rain coming in. And... Uh, bright sunshine where I was like. But as I say, it's a different world up here. So, it's not as feel too bad. There we are. It's a lock. Um, she's a wee quick look, but um, the intention is to come just round the bend a wee bit here. And uh, fish along the back of the island, or it's not an island, a point. And uh, see we've got competition, we've, I don't know if you can see it with the cormorant there. Yeah. Okay, now I've set up. Now I'm only going to fish two flies. It's just a fair wind blowing. Now I've got basically, uh, I'm just using straight through nylon. Uh, I'm actually using six pound fluorocarbon. A wee bit stiffer, a wee bit, I normally like about five pound nylon, which is so, but six on a windy day like this. Now I've got like what we call a cruncher here, it's just a pearly body cruncher, it's a bob type fly, it's got a tackle and it's got black legs. Uh, I've got a, a fly called the Morani pig, which is like a beetle pattern. I'm fishing size 14s. Again, yeah, I could be a, I could be maybe a 12 on, but these will do. We'll see how we go. The box of flies are actually tied for up here, or for the whole lock, so is this one here. So we've got traditional flies, with bibbles and such. I'll, I'll change if things are not working. Uh, but we're fishing for wild brown trout. Now these are, could be either, on average here would probably, <laughs> would only be about 6 to 8 inches or so. That's, that's a reasonable one, or not too bad. That's probably what you'd catch regular. And then if you're lucky you get maybe up to maybe a 10, 10 inch fish. As you can see here, I'm using the wind to my benefit. It's coming off my right shoulder. Uh, but the wind's blowing along this bank, which is ideal. And the wind lanes is where you're casting. They are the areas where I'd like to focus the fly, uh, put my flies into. So we'll see how we go. We start off quite short here. Basically fish along the bank and just slowly work my way along. And uh, she's looking nice. I actually quite like a day like this rough. I don't want it flat calm, I'd rather have rough conditions. Let's see how we go. As I see these wee trout are I'm fishing barbless so it's quite hard to hang on to them. But anyway, we'll see how we go. 
be fun. <laughs> it's great to get out, get some fresh air. You don't really need to cast far, no you do. Uh, these fish will work along the bank. Uh, looking for any terrestrial fly or any even small fish along the sides. So don't be shy to cast directly down in front of you. And your retrieve, just vary it, just try slow, fast, figure eight as I said, um, got to try everything, whenever you cast it's always good to pull your, just to tighten your leader up so you're more in contact and keep your rod close to the water uh, so you'll get better. You'll feel the the pull straight away, or if you see the take, it's even better, it means you can tighten up. You see, the wind lanes are usually the areas you want to put your flies into. These lanes are white froth, if you want to call it. Fish will feed up them. And if you don't take anything, just change up, try something different. I mean, there's obviously you see fish rising. Uh, chances are you'll see the flies are taken usually. And lost like this, there's quite a lot of terrestrial flies. Uh, beetles, midge, uh, small hoppers, caddis getting blown on off the bushes, and lots of things. And then slowly work your way along, just I'll work down and then I'll probably come back. If I don't take anything then I'll try something else. It is a good area this, there will be fish. I'm surprised if there's no fish in the area, there will be. And uh, it just depends on if they're interested. I'm going to cast a wee bit, just in there, just a couple of yards onto the cast. Just go a wee bit further. Oh, there we have a wee bit. Oh. Come back, just a small fish having a go there. Put it back over it. Taken it twice, I missed it the first time and jagged it I think the second time. I missed the low in there. That's no bad. Ten minutes or so of fishing we had our first rise to our fly, so it's uh 
always encouraging to get a pool quite early. The Angie's using this floating line. Yeah, you can't really sink in line here unless you're really in deep water. Um, I'm fishing sh quite shallow water. Uh, you don't really need much more. Try along the banking. Push it slow this time. And an odd wee pull. So just basically figure eight. So and then a pull or two and then back to figure eight. And then lift off slow. Then out again. Straight away you start to tighten your cast. So a number of times your flies hit the water and the fish take. It's quite regular actually. Speed up a wee bit faster, see if we can Again, a wee lift off just to check the fly, looks fine. I'll move out a wee bit. A few big rocks at my feet, so I'm trying to get over them. Moving in a wee bit further here. Just a few big rocks in front of me here. Yeah. Gotta be careful when you're wading. And uh, the water's quite dirty, it's quite well, it's not clean, clear, got it. So it's quite hard to see the bottom of it. So maybe even because of that, I may, I may change to some brighter flies because of the colour of the water. And black's your best bet. It's one of the first flies I'll. Oh, there we go. That's a good fish as well. I used to go and keep it tight, hang on to these fish. And this is a good, a good fish for walking. So. He's on. I like to see him. Oh, he's away. Oh dear, that was a good fish, but that was on the 
the dropper here. It's a pearly body, so it's a wee bit of colour in it. Anyway, there's my first fish. It's probably, if we're using barbless hooks, they will all pull, they will all come out. That was a good pull as well. See, they're not far out. Fish are working along the shore. So you don't need to cast to the other side of the lock to catch a fish. So we've been fishing half an hour. Oh, there we go. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was going to say, we've been fishing half an hour, and uh, we've had three takes now. Just missed that one. I think that took the point flying that actually. So it did. The reason I like the 10 foot rod, it gives me a better back cast, a higher back cast. Uh, keeps the line away. Especially if you have a back cast, if you have a high back cast, you can keep it away from the bushes. Going to move around off the point here. Maybe. The colour of the water looks a little better here. Let's move around to the back of this stone here. You see, there's a big lock. It's Really got to pick an area and go for it. Uh, see. It's seven miles long. There are lots of areas you can you can go, and then I've just picked this area. I, mean, I do like the area. I've fished it many a time, and it suits the wind as well. I could have went away up the top the lock, which I like as well. I love, I love fishing up here. It was tempting to go way away up. I was desperate to see. I was in. And I was desperate to fish. <laughs> I mean, it takes a good. I don't know what takes you. A good twenty minutes to get to the, from here to get to the top. Yeah, I'll change it. I'm going to change the point flight. I might try brown. Just keep the keep the dropper. Okay. Now I've changed to uh, a Wickham's. Believe it or not, in the point. The gold body. Some. Similar to what I've actually got in the dropper, but it's uh, same style anyway. And uh, a nice soft tackle on it, very a lot of movement. Uh, it's got the, the legs on it as well. So it's very terrestrial, light fly. Oh, there's a fish. 
a wee fish had a go there. Yeah, then they come back. Just had a swirl at the fly, so I'm going to put it back out. I'm going to go further up. Just because it will be working up. Normally these wee fish come back. They're quite determined sometimes, they'll have two or three goes at your fly. Even when you drag them, they'll, they'll come back sometimes. We're doing okay, just not landing any fish, but we're at least moving fish, which is a good thing. Again, a wee castle on the bank as we go down. There we go. <laughs> we should be fishing along the bank. That's twice I've cast along it and it's just a small fish. Oh look, it's, oh geez, look at the size of him. It's a fish. There he is. And you wouldn't believe it, but he's got that fly down. There he is there. No way. Well that was that point fly up just put one, so uh, I missed one and got that small fish. So hopefully we get maybe one or two more. There's a wind picking back up. No, too quiet here. I'm going to head up. I'm going to ground the bend a wee bit just to see if there's anything up there. Yeah, I'm going to give this a good cast. It's just a good spot for picking up fish. And I mean, it's quite dull as well, so it's. Oh, there's a wee dunt there. Just a small one that time. So I say, it's a good area here. So it just does a lip, it just comes off. And we spend a good minute or two here. It hits like that, that was two the three casts, so oop wobbly a rock. Again, every so often, just check the flies, make sure they're okay before he 
start to fish again. It's okay. Point fly is fine. I've changed the I changed the both flies to something a little bit different. Uh, I've got a grouse and hares here on the point, and I put the bibule uh, on the dropper. See if we can pick any up. This is a perfect wee bit. Just off a ledge in front of us here, which is ideal for any fish working up there. Work along these wind lanes. I may go back up there and come back through because I, I missed two or three nice fish. So I did. Okay, just fishing this area again before I head home. See if I can pick a trout up. I'm just moving out to the edge. There's a there's ledges here. Gotta be careful, like. And uh, I'm up at my knees at the moment, but I could be at my ankles, and then I could be at my my waist. I don't watch. What I'm doing. Uh, the fish come in quite close, as I say. See if we can pick anything up. Just slowly move out. Just watching. I mean, I fished. I did better at the beginning, but the conditions have changed. A lot more, you can see it's very hazy and uh, it's a fine rain, it's like, an, um, it's like we're sitting in the clouds. So, if you're in clouds, this is, I probably think this is what it feels like. Oh, oh I missed a the fish there. Jeez. Try this. I just I touched it. Well, up the day, it's just the way things have been. That was only my second cast as well, I think. Hopefully we'll maybe draw another one before we finish. We're just going to head down. To the, there's a, a shallow area there. Once we get there, we'll, we'll head back to the car. But we'll give it. We'll go. It's only half past two, so I've uh, been here for about just the back of 11. And I've had my chances, I mean, it's and uh, certainly no. Had, we had plenty of touches. Fish on and off, but right there we had rose that fish, and uh, it just didn't stay on.
Just need a bit of luck, that's all. Just move around about it. This is a good area here. I've had fish in the past here, especially around about this height of water. It's they come right in close, so they do. I mean, the conditions are. I wouldn't say they were bad. I'd say they're quite good. I like conditions sometimes like this. Right in front of me here. See, it's like a big step here. It goes down. It's going to be a bit, a bit too far out. This is water I want to fish. No one to be standing in, so. Flies every so often, as I say. I'm fine. The thing today is the takes I've been getting. I've been... Oh, there we go. Ah. There's another one on and off. I've been half hearted. So they have. They've not been really good pulls. Saying that was not too bad. Uh, I mean, I'm not sure what I've got to do today to keep fish on. I encourage them to really take pull well. And that was, it was only maybe five inches or so. It was only a wee brown trout, but it was good. Good anyway. Trying to keep the line as straight to the flies as I can because the because of the wind. Any belly in your line at all, you you're missing them. It's probably the reason why I probably missed one or two. You've got to try and keep, as I say, close to them, straighten your cast up as quick as it hits the water, so that if a fish does take, you're ready. Get my flies. Yep, fine. No oyster catcher. Yeah, that's it. I'll say that was my last cast, but I'll cast this out so I can reel in. Anyway, folks, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, it's good to get out. 
That's what the aim of the game is, just to get out and about. We've had a reasonable day's fishing, we've rose fish, as I said, we've caught one or two and lost them, but at least we rose fish, and that was the main thing. And uh, conditions are not perfect, nothing rising. I mean, good to come up and see fish moving, but I never saw a fish rise all day, so anyway, there we are, folks. Uh, Heading back to the car. Yeah. If only get a shower and something to eat, it'd be good. It's starting to rain, and if you look towards the, the hills there, you can see the rain starting to really come down. But it's time to go while we're still half dry. So anyway, as I say, I hope you enjoy the video, and uh, again, thanks, thanks for coming along, and for all the kind comments.